How do you feel, though, when you look at the current economic environment and this idea that given that interest rates, which may have contributed to some of the pain we're seeing in the office space, obviously the pandemic is largely to blame, but if interest rates remain high, as a lot of people think they are going to remain, is there not going to really be that lifeline for maybe some of those legacy buildings and those second tier buildings that are facing a refinancing coming up? Well, I think we're getting used to uh, interest rates where they are now. They're not, you know, they're not dramatically high on a historic basis. They just look high because they came from zero, you know, up to where they are today. Right. So we think where we are now is not bad, mm -hmm. and we think companies in real estate and other business will be able to learn to make do because we get used to where rates are. Mm -hmm. But also, we think the Fed's on top of their game now. You know, they were late to the party, mm -hmm. you know, but now they're doing the right things. Inflation's back under control. Interest rates will go lower. Mm -hmm. And so we think real estate will be a place where you're going to be able to benefit. Mm -hmm. You know, people, uh, I think, have gotten too pessimistic, yeah. too gloomy around the real estate. And often, again, because they're looking just around their own neighborhoods. But it is different. Not only is it different around the globe, but it's, often diff it's also different in small towns. Mm -hmm. You know, Peoria or Rockford or whatever it is versus uh, Chicago or New right. York or L.A. And we have to take that into account for these, these significant real estate companies. I mean, I know that historically interest rates aren't terribly high, but obviously there's a whole generation of folks that really only knew basically zero, one percent interest rates. And this gets to a broader question, though. What do you plan for longer term right now? That we have to get comfortable with, you know, five percent or five and a half, wherever the Fed takes us? Or do we start to look longer term to an interest rate environment that could go back down, may not necessarily back down to zero, one percent, but something significantly below where we are right now? I think something significantly below where we are right now, and that gives us a lot of optimism in real estate related companies. Some of our favorites, whether it's Leslie's Pools or Residio or ADT, mm -hmm. companies that are supplying products in whether you're building a new home or just expanding an older home. Mm -hmm. These buildings related products, these home related products, we think will do quite, quite well. Mm -hmm. So you're relatively confident in the job that Jay Powell is doing right now. The economic conditions, this soft landing, this Goldilocks scenario that the market at least seems to think we have. Do you think that, I guess, Jay Powell delivered that or is on his way to delivering that soft landing? No, I think Jay Powell and the Fed have done an excellent job getting back on track. Mm -hmm. Once they realized that inflation wasn't transitory mm -hmm. and they had to get serious about it, I think they're doing all the right things and uh, I have a lot of confidence that a year from now rates will be significantly higher. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't gone into a recession. Yeah. We've really been able to balance everything in a very, very effective way. And are you confident that, say, within a year from now, the U.S. will still be a better place to invest than overseas? I'm very bullish on America. You know, as Warren Buffett always says, we have the greatest, greatest system in the world.